Recently, I decided to update my technology that I was shooting with, and I was shooting with the D-800 and the D-3. So uh, I thought about getting a D-6, but then I uh, watched YouTube and heard them talking about this new 780. Well, I've never owned anything less than a D-800 or a D-3, but it seemed to be an awfully lot of uh, camera for the money especially when you're shooting video and it tracks well because the D-800 didn't. I've been a photographer for more than 40 years and I've shot mostly with Nikon through the years, I think on occasion with Hasselblad. Photographed mostly people, media personalities, uh, in and around the White House on occasion. Also some corporate work in California and some product shooting out of studio. I would like to hear your comments about this camera, if you own it. If you're a professional, that's, uh, the, I think it's very useful for you, particularly if you shoot weddings or if you do grip and grins. If it doesn't have a flash, you'll have to carry your flash with you if you need it. Also, uh, it, just shooting in and around the studio, I think it worked well. I did some scenes in and around Virginia in my, with my 24-70 to 8 lens and also some things close up in the house. I'd like to show some people, but I can't photograph them right now because we're in a pandemic. So I want to leave this for on YouTube for some of you who may have the camera or be interested in it. If you're a serious amateur, it might work for you. It's not cheap, but it's a lot of cameras. So here are some images. Let me know what you think. Now I appreciate your comments.
now that you've had a chance to view some of the images and see what the camera is capable of, uh, you might consider buying it. You might just be interested in cameras. Later on, I'll post some images with some stories behind them of people that I've photographed through the years, and some of them quite interesting.